Green Biz Group, uh, my company, has is, is been partnered with UL in the development of the 880 standard, a company level standard for manufacturers. It strikes me, and it's, it's been my experience in the two years or so that we've been working, our two organizations have been working closely together in this, that this is a, a little bit out of the box for UL in a couple ways. One is that it's about companies and not products, and I think that's the, maybe the first time you've done that, looked at companies, not products. But the other is, and this goes to uh, something you were uh, referring to before about uh, fee feedback from stakeholders and input, uh, uh, that I don't know that you knew what you were getting into in terms <laughs> of <laughs> the breadth of the interested parties mm -hmm. in this. Uh, talk a little bit about why you think there's an opportunity here for uh, a company level standard and why you'd want to take that on. Well, uh, we, we do manage about 1,500 standards in the U.S. that are product standards. And every one of those standards, or actually most of those standards, has a, has a, a, a standards technical panel which involves industry, government, academia, consumers. And so we're used to a lot of input. Uh, we're not used to as much input as we got with UL 880. And we're not accustomed to the kind of uh, diversity of input we got. But that was actually terrific because it makes UL 880 a lot better. Um, wh what really we believed is, is we believed that, that we could contribute something unique in this space uh, in that, uh, first of all, UL is an independent testing laboratory. And uh, so uh, one of the things that we do is we don't take money from any manufacturer except for doing the engineering work that we do. And we don't allow any, cust any client or potential client to sit on our board. And we are a not-for-profit company, a 501c3. So we think our independence is, is a value. Uh, we think our, our experience at doing standards <laughs> development in a consensus-based process is, is an asset. Uh, and then we looked at something, uh, and this is what probably the most unique thing for us, is to develop a standard where we don't intend to actually be the testing agency for the standard. So in fact, what we expect with UL 880 is that audit firms like you know, maybe a big, big accounting firm or an ISO audit firm, um, someone like that, and many companies like that will actually do the auditing work, and the UL will, will simply manage the standard and issue the final certification. For us, that's very different, but we think there's a real value added to make it a very publicly accessible standard and have lots of competition for who can do the auditing work. I think what we, we've all looked at, at 880 and its subsequent uh, right. standards as the uh, Full Employment for Consultants Act of 2011, I think. Uh, I think that was probably Sarbanes-Oxley, but... Oh, okay, well... <laughs> and before that, it was uh, Y2K. Well, it's, it's this year's f flavor of the month, I guess.